I knew I had to come on here and tell my truth. Some of you may have heard what happened at Taylor Swift Eric's tour this last weekend. Well, I'm here to set the record straight. Yes, Pooh Noodle and I were kicked out, but not for the reasons that you think. Let's begin. It was 6.30 p.m. The evening was crisp. How I know? I licked the air and tasted like an apple. I had been promising Pooh Noodle for months that we would go see her favorite artist. Billy Joel. Uh, but I couldn't get tickets for that. So I was easily able to get tickets for Taylor Swift. So that is where we went. The first problem of the night happened when we pulled up and there was no horse parking. While I know that concerts are for humans, I couldn't leave my horse out there. Last time I left Poo Noodle outside in Applebee's, some kids walked over and put a quarter in her butt because they thought that she was a ride on horse. Anyway, I had to bring Poo Noodle inside. We needed to develop a plan to get in here. Because if Poo Noodle didn't get to here, shake it off tonight, I don't think I would hear the end of it. So I did what my mother did when I was born. I put Poo Noodle in a dumpster and I wheeled her backstage. Finally, we made it to the floor. There were a lot of celebrities around. Poodle saw her absolute favorite, Taylor Lautner. But so, of course, I had to go over and say hi. We asked him to turn into a wolf, but he just got very angry and he kept calling security, security. And so I says, well, if you don't like the way that we're talking to you, why don't you fight us? And whoever wins gets to use his seats because I also had not actually purchased tickets. Uh, unbeknownst to me, uh, Taylor Lautner knows how to do the backflips and I got kicked right in the face. I flew back into the chairs and like the Taylor Swift song, Sparks Fly, I, that is what I saw. Uh, I hit an electrical wire and I did get electrocuted. The lights did and Taylor Swift came out on stage. I looked over at Pooh Noodle and she was happier than my mother when she signed over custody of me to my grandmother. The show started with Ready For It and boy was I ready for it. Pooh Noodle got so excited that she started to pee everywhere. Unbeknownst to the people in the back, they thought that we had spilled a water bottle and they were okay with stepping in it. Security came over and said, you gotta go, you gotta leave here. Taylor, overwhelmed by the smell of horse dung and urine, said, whoa, 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 stop the show. And I thought at that moment that she was going to descend down to where we were sitting and offer Poo Noodle the 22 hat. Because I told her, I said, listen, I will do anything to get you that hat. I don't care if she normally gives it to little girls. Alright, this is horse representation is important. Instead, she screamed, Is that a horse? Uh, and in fact, it was. She has very good eyesight. The National Guard descended from the stadium to arrest Poo Noodle and I. They even had handcuffs for hooves. We were cornered. There was nothing we could do. You had the National Guard on all sides of us, and Taylor Lautner was the background just kind of hanging out there waiting for his moment to do his backflip again. We knew that if we had to get out of this, we had to be clever. So I reached into my purse and I pulled out something that every girly has. A machete. And I cut through our chains. And I rode Poo Noodle. And we got on the stage. And for a moment, we were fearless. But that moment went by very quickly when Poo Noodle kicked the Taylor Swift in the face. Um, that was very unfortunate. They had to end the show. We were escorted out by a police helicopter. Did you know that they don't have sirens on those? You learn something new every day. Uh, anyway, Taylor Swift is okay. Don't worry about her. Uh, I have been charged with a, a felony, including possession of a unlawful force. I just wanted to come on here and set the record straight. Okay, Poodle had nothing to do with this. All right, it was all me. And I really hope that Taylor Swift forgives me and lets me go back to the air store because honestly, I did not get to see my favorite song. But on the bright side, she wrote a song about us, or at least I think it is. She's got a new single coming out called I Was Kicked in the Head, in parentheses, by horse. Actually, I got a little bootleg of it if you want to hear it. I was 15, you had a horse-drawn carriage. Didn't know where to take it. Thought that was magical. You were
Christmas. Mm-hmm.